As the world held its breath over the aerial standoff over the Indian subcontinent, who could have imagined that the new face quietly emerging from the stern of the Chinese Navy's Huang Wailu test ship might hold the key to reshaping the balance of power in the oceans? This smaller sized radar, which combines three band common aperture technology, revolutionary gallium oxide materials, and reliability rated at billions of hours, was designed for what kind of revolutionary 20,000 ton warship? And why has it caused US media to exclaim that its technology is already a decade ahead? The answer lies in this quiet sea. Recently, Photos circulating online showed a new shipborne radar system resembling the 346 series phased array radar appearing for the first time on the stern of the Huang Wailu test ship. While the two systems share a similar appearance, the technological breakthroughs behind this new radar are worlds apart and should not be underestimated. U.S. media outlets Defense News and The War Zone have reported that U.S. naval radar technology may now lag behind China's by at least a decade. This radar not only breaks through the performance bottlenecks currently faced by naval radars, but may also point the way forward for the development of China's next-generation large surface warships. Some even speculate that it may have been specifically developed for the rumored 055B class guided missile destroyer with a full load displacement of up to 20,000 tons or for a newly designed frigate. If integrated with the HQ-19 system, this radar would undoubtedly form a comprehensive sea-based missile defense system. Its exterior design bears a striking resemblance to the shipborne Puyang radar, and its performance is equally impressive, raising the possibility that it could become a key component of future aircraft carrier strike groups. U.S. analyses indicate that China's new generation shipborne radar employs an innovative three-band common aperture design. This design represents a significant breakthrough over the previous dual-band technology, successfully integrating L, S, and X bands into a single dual polarization planar antenna array. Specifically, it uses an ultra-wideband array antenna to achieve integrated processing of multi-frequency signals. The advantages of this unique design are highly prominent. Compared to traditional radar systems that operate on separate frequency bands, this Chinese shipborne radar not only possesses the capability to detect long-range stealth targets, but also performs multi-mission combat capabilities such as mid-range air situation warning and close-range precision guidance, significantly enhancing overall information processing efficiency and anti-jamming capabilities. This radar has achieved major innovations in the materials used for its core components. It has abandoned traditional gallium nitride materials and instead adopted fourth-generation ultra-wideband JAP materials, gallium oxide, paired with diamond as the substrate. This unique material combination has significantly improved the radar's performance in terms of peak power, thermal conductivity, and operational stability. Power output has tripled compared to previous models, thermal conductivity has doubled, and the mean time between failures has reached the billionaire level. Such outstanding performance means that this radar can not only meet the demands of high power output, but also operate stably for extended periods, making it highly suitable for the prolonged, high-intensity information warfare requirements of future naval battles. Additionally, the radar features innovative structural design, including a tile-based subarray configuration and a next-generation microchannel liquid cooling system. In an era where the thermal density of electronic warfare equipment continues to increase, this technology provides a robust foundation for the radar's high-density integration. More importantly, the radar possesses advanced polarization reconstruction capabilities, enabling it to automatically generate efficient anti-jamming strategies in complex and dynamic electromagnetic environments and seamlessly switch between electronic warfare modes, integrating electronic reconnaissance and electronic countermeasure functions into a single system. This highly intelligent feature enables it to outperform U.S. systems such as the SPY-6, V, and SPY-3 in all performance metrics. No wonder some foreign media have commented that China has already surpassed the United States by an entire generation in this technological field. Although the radar's technical specifications are quite impressive, what people are more concerned about is which type of warship it will be equipped on in the future. Currently, Main battleships like the 052D, 054A, and 055 are already equipped with fixed radar systems, so the likelihood of upgrading them to accommodate the new radar is relatively low. Additionally, the new radar is smaller in size compared to the 346 series, roughly two-thirds of its size, so the probability of it being directly adopted as the main radar for the next generation of ultra-large displacement vessels is also relatively low. A publicly available paper from Harbin Engineering University suggests that future large destroyers, 
could have a displacement of up to 20,000 tons. Based on the configuration described in the paper, it resembles the stealth experimental vessel previously tested, though there are scale differences, the experimental vessel is relatively smaller, while the actual vessels to be built in the future may be larger. Therefore, a reasonable speculation is that this radar is likely a key component among the numerous subsystems of the Type 055B warship. However, it may not be the main radar, but rather a specialized module tailored for tasks such as ballistic missile early warning, electronic interference, or low-altitude air-to-air situational awareness. The future trend in shipborne systems will see distributed radar array designs become the mainstream. Under this design philosophy, radar tasks will be further specialized and distributed across multiple devices. This radar, with its moderate size, is likely to take on specific specialized tasks such as ballistic missile early warning, electronic countermeasures, and low-altitude air situation monitoring. Through these functions, it will become an efficient node within the information network warfare system. If the Type 055B destroyer indeed reaches a displacement of 20,000 tons as predicted, and is equipped with next-generation laser weapons, hypersonic anti-ship missiles, and even sea-based missile defense systems. This new radar will undoubtedly become an indispensable component of this ambitious vision. From the perspective of equipment development, the technical validation of the new radar system is not only a test of the performance of a single piece of equipment but also lays the technical foundation for building an information-dominant fleet characterized by information perception as the core in multi-platform collaborative combat. This development path signifies that China's naval equipment construction is transitioning from traditional firepower projection to system-based information warfare capabilities. However, this new radar can also be integrated into the main radar system of the new frigate design. Notably, given that it is likely to be the successor model of the 054B frigate, which has not yet been mass-produced, this new frigate will be more focused on regional air defense, multi-target detection and sensing, and serving as an information hub node. If the 054 series frigates continue to evolve and eventually develop into a new type of frigate, equipped with a 64-cell vertical launch system and four-sided radar for all-around detection and sensing capabilities, this radar will undoubtedly become its true eyes enabling it to keenly discern the battlefield situation. Future naval battles have moved beyond direct firepower and missile confrontations, shifting toward comprehensive strategic competition involving radar detection, information warfare, and electromagnetic suppression. In this competition, those with more sensitive detection systems will gain the initiative on the battlefield. This new radar system boasts exceptional performance and is highly likely to become the core equipment of China's next-generation naval fleets. Whether it is the upgraded version of the Type 055B destroyer or the future Type 054C frigate, it will be the key to reshaping the landscape of naval warfare, endowing vessels with formidable combat capabilities. In the era of information-dominated warfare, only those who first possess keen perception capabilities will qualify to control future maritime supremacy.